I've been all gas pedal so far. I haven't used any brake, any clutch. Oh my goodness, man. We're riding it. How going on everybody welcome back today guys to the channel forza horizon 5 we are back today for yet another episode here on the wheel now last time we were here though we were driving this fc taking a look at some of the blueprints that were made by nova and he actually ended up recreating eagle ridge and long beach if you guys did miss that episode definitely go ahead and take a look at that one but we are going to be back coming online uh with the wheel very soon with everybody but today though i wanted to test out something uh, that I've been looking forward to now for a little bit. Obviously, you guys know I love roundabouts. Uh, we try to hit as many as we can. We do have Venomous Rook back here trying to keep up. Look at this man. Hey! Can I honk? Hey, there we go. What's good? What the hell is he driving? That thing looks wild. Wait, where'd he go? Oh. Okay. Uh, it was nice seeing you too, sir. Right? Now, I did have a bunch of you guys letting me know how to unlock... Uh, the Torque Stallion, and it's actually with this car. Now, I don't know how I got it. I think I ended up getting this in a wheel spin, probably the first wheel spin episode that I actually ended up doing, and didn't even notice that it was a rare vehicle. But this is how you unlock the Torque Stallion. We actually go into the pause menu, uh, we go over to the car mastery, and we're going to go right up this left hand column to get our Torque Stallion right here. This is the 1992 Hoonigan Mazda RX 7. Uh, Hertz Torque Stein. This is going to be pretty cool to grab. Uh, it's going to cost 50 skill points. Thankfully, I've been saving up here. We got uh, 239. Wait, 5,000 now. It's fine. Uh, we're going to get 15% in the free roam. We're going to get an instant wheel spin as well, too. So hopefully, maybe we can pull the 8.6 right here. I'm still looking for that damn car. It's been a little bit. Oh, no. Okay. For 50 skill points, man. That's a lot. We're going to go ahead and drive this on the biggest roundabout ever made here on Forza Horizon 5 today. Uh, make sure you guys go ahead, use code Black Friday. Links will be found down below. Slaptrain.shop. Huge thank you for watching. And of course, don't forget to slap that like button. This car is available from Car Mastery Tree. It may appear as a reward in the seasonal events, festival playlist, or Forza Thon Shop. Good to know. Good to know. This thing okay. a lot. A Class 799, 600 horsepower. This is the perfect setup here. I don't even want to touch it. It looks good. Look at how good this thing looks. Okay, so the roundabout in question for today is going to be at the arena. Look at this. It's huge. This is a roundabout. It is one full circle. Prove me wrong. This is a roundabout. We're going to go ahead and drift this thing completely around, um, hopefully more than one time, to make the biggest roundabout ever drifted. These are bigger than the highway sections out here. Look at this. This is the highway on-ramp. This is the arena roundabout. It is massive. Very excited here uh, to see if we can do this. And I just kind of saw this the other night. I was like, right, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Look at how small this one is. Nothing compared to this one. It's as big as this crop circle over here. Right, so we're going to go there, drive this thing stock first, see if we can actually do it with it. I don't think we're going to be able to. And then uh, we'll have to go ahead and throw some power at this. But, oh, it is very loose right off the bat. I wasn't expecting that. I almost lost them right into the road. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. Yep, understeer. Let's see if we can throw this in. Sim steering as well, too, for today as well. I mean, I, I haven't touched my steering since I started playing this game. I am still on sim steering. I have not wanted to change sim steering at all. I don't know. If you guys are using a wheel, or even controller for that matter, let me know what your steering is, because uh, even on controller, I'm on sim steering. It just it feels better this year. Oh, oh, oh. It feels a lot more controlled. You don't get that snap anymore. It's just a lot better experience. If you haven't yet, definitely... Uh, you're welcome. 5.2, there it is. But just the, imagine the ability to make our own drift zones. That would be super cool. Hopefully, Forza Horizon 6, we have that at our disposal. We're going to go for 360. Oh, boy. Sorry. I can't see on the front window. There's a pizza slice on there. That's not safe at all. Man. How am I supposed to see? Need your help. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and spawn at the parking lot area. I can't believe I'm seeing this, do it. but that's about all I can think of for Horizon Wilds. You did it. Turn around. Hey! Safe to do so. He's happy. Alright, so this is going to be the roundabout area coming up on the left here. And this is the big parking lot section, basically. But I seen this the other day when we were all just sitting here waiting to load in. But look at it. It's a perfect circle on the map. Recalculating route. It's perfect! I think I think I want to go the other way, actually. I'm going to go this way. There we go. I kind of like to go around left way. I mean, I don't know. Are you, are you more this way or the other way? 
kind of like going left. And we're going to go fifth gear. I don't think this is going to work for this car, at least with this. Oh, maybe. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yep. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Really get some elevation out there. All right, fourth gear. Anna, I'm going to have to cut you off, girl. You just can't stop, can you? All right, we are going to get some tandems in this damn roundabout. Oh boy, not with this car right now. Not have the drift diff. Yeah, I don't really have any issues other than just the horsepower, I think. 984 S1, 2,677 pounds for $35,000. That's not bad at all. Ooh, TOS Anthem with a really nice... Oh, this white one? Oh, look at this one. VQ. This one's really sick. I like this a lot here. All right, here we go. Fourth. Oh yeah, we're already slipping here. If we can just keep this going. Fifth. Full throttle control here. Six. Oh my, yes. We gotta keep this going at least a full loop though for it to count. So we gotta remember where we are. This torque science killing it. I might put on the gas for a little bit too long there. I've been all gas pedal so far. I haven't used any brake, any clutch. Oh my goodness, man. We're riding it. How? A little bit of break, a little bit of break. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Threw off the card. Oh, start it as soon as we get to the one event. So we know as soon as we pass it again, we're going to be good. I think it's coming up right here. Yeah, that's the playgrounds event here. Okay. So we're sideways. There we go. Come on now. We just got to hold it. One loop. And I'll be happy. I definitely need to start building a few more cars as well, too. I've been finding myself doing that just some nights. Just trying to get on, building some random vehicles, either for racing, for drifting, whatever need be, just so I have some cars pre-built. I always find myself not having enough cars that I want. Come on, now. We're coming around it. We're coming around it. The, the, no, are you kidding? At the final. Oh, that doesn't count. Oh, my goodness. Was I in 5th or 6th gear for this? I think I was in 5th. I was in 6th. Oh shit. We're good, we're good, we're good. It's a little sketchy, a little sketchy. 6th gear, just as soon as it goes out there, just smoke clouds. Nice and easy with it. It's a great test for throttle control. Take that tire pressure. We're just going to bring it down. And then we might as well give this six gear back a little bit more speed. Also nice though is that there's no traffic on here. Because realistically, there's no room. Fifth. Now we're coming around it again here. Sixth. I got it this one. This one's mine. Run that outside. As long as you just run that outside, you don't get off of it too much for it to grip up or kind of get loose, you're good. But it is easier said than done, though, because you are obviously always trying to counter drift and just stay in it. That's kind of not what I wanted. You definitely, you definitely want both hands on it. Oh, boy. It's a long ways to go here. I'm kind of getting dizzy. We need to complete this sooner than later because I don't know how many more I can take. Pretty night time. Getting a little bit dizzy. And just keep this six gear matted. Yep, 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 yep. In some dangerous territory right now. Oh, there it is! Let's go! We did it! That's one full lap! Pretty sure, no? We're gonna just keep it going just to make sure. See how many laps we can get here before I end up screwing this up. Yeah, when in doubt, throttle it out! Look at that! This car has been a lot of fun. Let's see if I can do it the other way, actually. You drifting? Wreckham Shadows. That thing looks sick.
And now we did the biggest one. Let's do the smallest one. Right? Let's get a little, a little close to this here. There we go. Yeah, we definitely need some bigger ones, though, I feel like, right? I'm just kidding. That was, that was pretty big. That was a tough one. That took me, what, like, almost 30 seconds to get through the entire roundabout there. That was crazy. Try one more time here. What I would like to try, though, we're going to go into solo. And I'm very curious if we're going to get any traffic coming through here. So we're going to do a full lap this way here. Oh, yeah, we already have drive -tars on here. Oh, no. It's not going to be good. Okay. And we're coming head on with them, too. Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, jeez. Yeah, with actual drive -tars on here, it's going to be almost impossible to do. How am I going to get through people with damn drive -tars now? There's no way. I'll give it my best shot, but I don't, I don't think there's going to be a way that we're going to be able to do this here. Come on now. Didn't want to go. There we go. How am I supposed to keep that up content? Oh my God, come on. Excuse me. It's tough, but it's fun though. I think we're in a damn bowl right now. Okay, obviously, we can't do that here. This car is so grippy though for this. It's actually kind of perfect. Just the way that it drives itself. But it's all about that throttle control though. Maybe just let it off for that split second. It's not good. There we go. No, the stupid sidewalk. Just can't sidewalk, you're great, but. It's acting too real, right? It actually shoves you off your line. That's what we want, though, right? We want sidewalks to actually do something, and I cannot start this. What the hell? Thank you. Okay, here we go. We're starting it perfectly, right on the spot. We can just keep this up. In 400 yards, turn left. Oh, yeah. Feeling pretty confident on this one here. Turn left. As I Turn do that, shit, no! <laughs> Almost fully sideways coming through there, that's insane. In 400 yards. Turn left. So as you just get off on that, on the damn sidewalk, it's tough to get back on there, thankfully. Turn left. You keep it fully cranked. Turn around when it is safe to do so. There we go. The mountains off in the distance, all lit up with the sun. That was really cool to see. Let's just keep this going here. In 400 yards. Don't you dare. Thank you. I'm still getting angled. Turn left. Don't you dare do this to me. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Still angled, still getting angled. Where is it, man? It better be coming up. I can't get my eyes off the damn car right now. Oh, there it is. I did it. I did it. We just got to bring it back. No, no, I did it. I did it. Hell no. I'm not doing that again. All right. Huge thanks for watching for today. The biggest roundabout on Forza Horizon 5 completed. We did it, man. We should have gotten the achievement for that. I can't believe that. I can't believe there's even a drift zone on that one there. There should have been a drift zone on this arena spot. Change my vibe in the comment section down below. But this really did need... A drift zone though that would have been really cool to see one consistent lap around the arena let me know your thoughts down below huge thanks for watching let me know your build here on this torque stallion and if you guys have ended up picking up that fc because you need the fc to get the torque stallion so right it's a little bit of a grind if you don't have it but if you have it welcome to the club man huge thanks for watching today i'll see you guys back here tomorrow i'm out peace